So hello and welcome. In this After Effects tutorial, I am going to show you uh, how you can work with layers. Uh, this is going to be a beginner tutorial, so I'm not going to show you everything, just the basic stuff. So I already created some project and this is just uh, 920 by 1080. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to my shape tool and I'm going to create some rectangle like so. And I will go to my selection tool. Uh, you can see in here that we have our layer and the name of the layer is the shape layer one. Uh, the way how you can rename the layer is click on the layer, hit enter and you can call this green for an example and then click away. If you want to duplicate your layer, what you can do is click on the layer, click Ctrl D or Command D and it is going to duplicate it and right now with my selection tool I can move it like so. And I can go ahead and uh, change the color, for example, like so. Alright, so right now we have two layers. Uh, if I go ahead to my shape tool and I'm going to choose my ellipse tool, for example, and I'm going to draw somewhere, it is going to create another layer. So you can see I'm going to draw and it is going to go on the, on the next layer. The thing is that uh, while I was drawing the new layer, new shape, I had nothing selected. But if I'm going to select my shape layer one right now, and I'm going to draw another shape, it is going to draw the, the shape uh, inside of this layer. Okay, so uh, for example, I'm going to take the rectangle tool and I am on the shape layer one, which is uh, this shape, and I'm going to draw something. And right now I'm going to have uh, two layers or two shapes on one layer. And you can see in here that we have, uh, I can close this and open it. So if I open this like so, I'm going to have content and transform. And if I open the content, I'm going to have a rectangle one and ellipse one. And if I click on the rectangle one, for example, I can go ahead and change the color of this one like so. All right. Uh, so uh, some of the basic stuff, on the left we have an option to uh, hide the layer, so I can hide the top layer for example, I can hide this one, so pretty simple. Uh, then we have an option, uh, this one is, uh, if I click this, uh, it is going to be the only thing that is going to be visible and everything else is going to uh, hide, alright? And we can, we can do this with the multiple stuff, like so. So it's like if you have a uh, really lot of layers and you want to see only one on, or only few of them, you can click like this and it is going to hide everything else except of this. Uh, then we have an option to uh, lock the layers. So basically when you lock the layer, you can't move it. Pretty simple. Uh, and then we have uh, option to change the color of the layer because uh, again, if you have a lot of layers, uh, you may want to have some uh, some differences in the colors of the layers for you visually to work better. So what you can do is uh, click on this and choose some other color. For example, purple or something something that is going to be uh, somehow connected with your layers. For example, you can have uh, some images that are going to have some color, some videos that are, that are going to have some color and so on. Uh, then there is some other stuff. Uh, uh, for example, uh, this one is here. Uh, it is going. Uh, it is called uh, shy, shy guy. And basically, uh, this is something. Uh, uh, again, when you have a lot of layers and you want to hide some layers from your layer uh, panel, but you want to keep this. You do not want to delete these layers, but you just want to hide them. Uh, so what you can do is, if you click on this shy, shy guy. Uh, nothing is going to happen, but if we go ahead and click in here, uh, it is going to it is going to hide this uh, from the layers. And if I unclick this, it is going to show. All right. So if this is clicked, you can go ahead and uh, hide your layers. They are still here. We can still move these layers and do anything with them unless we lock them. But they are not going to be visible in your layers. Okay. So this is also uh, pretty cool. 
and if you want you can unclick it like so and then it is going to appear again. Uh, this stuff in here I am not going to explain right now but uh, then we have uh, this one this is called, mo called motion blur and this is something that uh, I am going to explain on the on the animation. All right. Uh, so I will go ahead and delete uh, this layer. So I'm going to just hit delete and I'm going to uh, delete the, the green one. So I'm going to keep only only one. All right. And I'm going to uh, animate this one and I'm going to uh, very simply animate it from the left to the right. And then I will show you uh, how you can apply the motion blur on the layer. So I will hit P for the position. I am going to create a keyframe, keyframe for the position. I will move a little bit, not much, because if you move it like five seconds, that is not going to be motion blur. So maybe half of the second. And then I am going to move it uh, on, the, on the right side like so. And now we are going to have an animation like this. And uh, this shape is not going to be uh, blurred while it is going to be moving. But in the real life, when something is moving fast, it is going to be blurred a little bit. So if I go ahead and click this motion blur, uh, it is automatically going to uh, click this one, which we can unclick. And in that case, it is not going to affect. But if we click this one and if we have motion blur in here, you can see that that is going to be uh, blur while this is going to be animated. Uh, and right now I can show you that uh, if I make my animation longer, this motion blur is going to disappear a little bit because uh, when things are moving slowly, it is not going to be as much. And if I make this closer, like so, and I will go somewhere in between, you can see that this motion blur is uh, much more in there. And there are some settings about this motion blur that I won't show in this video. Uh, then uh, this one, uh, it is called an adjustment layer and it is uh, uh, used mo mostly maybe uh, for some visual effects. And basically what, that, what this does is if you click this, it is going to apply all of the layers below. But again, not for uh, this video, it is a little bit advanced. And this one is also a little bit advanced, is uh, for the 3D. So if I click this, uh, you can see that on the position I have uh, one more axis, which is uh, Z axis, and we can move this into 3D, but also something which is a little bit more advanced. And then we have uh, the parenting, and with the parenting, I will have to create one more layer. Actually, I will get rid of the motion blur. I am going to duplicate this. I will move it like so and I will get rid of the keyframes. You can uh, highlight the, both of them, hit U and, and you can go ahead and delete your keyframes like so. All right. And uh, I can go ahead and change this one to green, for example, like so. And basically this is like uh, you can parent it like so, and when you parent one layer to another, it is going to move with it, it is going to rotate with it, and so on. I created a tutorial about it, so you can find it on my channel. All right, so uh, this is one thing. Uh, another thing is that uh, you can go ahead and uh, you can see that your layers are all the way from the left up to the right. And right now my timeline is uh, 30 seconds long, your may be a little bit uh, longer. But what I can do is uh, go ahead at the beginning and you can see the arrows like this and I can drag and I can make it like so. And right now uh, my my layer is going to appear uh, appear in here and we can we can take this back if you want. And if you want to snap this to the beginning, uh, you can hold shift. Okay. Uh, this is one thing. Uh, another thing is like you can uh, move the move the layer. If you click on the layer, you can move it like so. And uh, right now, this may seem uh, very similar to the to the thing that we did before. But I'm going to show you the difference. I will go back and uh, I will I will create the uh, some some keyframe. So for example, I'm going to hit R for the rotation. 
I am going to click keyframe. I will move a little bit like so. And I am going to rotate it like this. All right. So I have an animation like so. And if I go ahead and uh, go at the beginning on, of the layer and I will drag it like so, you can see that my keyframes are not moving. So I'm just, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, cutting uh, the, the beginning stuff of the layer. But if I go ahead and drag it like so, I'm going to move also the keyframes. Okay, so that's the deeper end. So this is like the moving the whole layer. And we can do the, the same thing at the end. We can make it uh, shorter like so. All right. Uh, then uh, there is an option uh, with the shortcut. And uh, next to your uh, P keyboard, uh, there is like these uh, brackets and curly brackets. Uh, hopefully you can see you have on your keyboard, you should have like I, next to I is O, next to O is P, and next to P uh, should be brackets and curly brackets. And if you are going to hold Alt and click these curly brackets, it is going to cut the layer like so. And uh, if you want to uh, end the layer somewhere in here, you can go to the uh, next curly brackets because first one is left, the second one is right. And with Alt, click it like so, and it is going to cut your layer. Okay, and you can do this. Uh, I will go back a couple of times. You can do this uh, for the multiple layers if you want, like so. All right, uh, so now what I'm going to do, I will uh, delete this and you can go ahead to the layer, new, and uh, let me go one more time. And there are some options that is like text, solid, light, and so on. And uh, one thing that I want to show you is uh, I'm going to create a solid and solid is just very simple background. So I will click this and we can choose some color. I can go with maybe uh, some tint of the blue like so, and I'm going to hit OK like this. And uh, right now, uh, this is my this is my layer. I can go ahead and change the name. So this is going to be BG, which stands for background. And if my background is not selected and I would go to the to the shape layer and I am going to create a rectangle, you can see that I have an uh, fill option, stroke option. And if I go ahead and draw something, I'm going to create a shape like this. All right. But if uh, I will go back, if my background is going to be selected and I will go to my uh, shape tool, I don't see my fill and stroke. And the reason is that when your layer is selected and you are going to draw something, you are actually going to create a mask. And mask basically means that uh, the layer, the background layer is going to be only visible on the part uh, which we have draw like now, draw right now. And we can create a uh, multiple mask on one layer if we want. Okay. So, uh, when you are working with the shapes, uh, make sure that, uh, your background or your image or your video is not selected. But the thing is, uh, when you have, when you have uh, some rectangle and you will draw a rectangle like this and then uh, you are going to have your shape layer selected and you are going to draw uh, another shape. In this case, when you are drawing two shapes on one layer, it is not going to create the mask, but it is going to create another layer like so. And you can see that now we have rectangle two and rectangle one and we can go ahead and and create one more like so. But as soon as I would go to the background, uh, I would be creating a mask. And as soon as nothing is selected, I am going to create a new layer. All right. So I am going to uh, delete all of this. And yeah, this is it. This is uh, this was just a very simple introduction to the layers. Uh, there are probably many stuff that I didn't mention and I can create some maybe advanced video about the layers, but this was just the beginner and the next tutorial is probably going to be about the, about the keyframes and the basics of the keyframes. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like, 
maybe share it with some friend who can learn something, uh, consider to subscribe and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.